Hey guys, my name's Tim, and this is my wife, Dana. Together we have two kids, our super cute daughter, Hannah, and our little guy, Zeke. We've been married since 2006, and this is a video about our life. Every Tuesday, uh, me and some other youth workers in uh, our community uh, get together and meet. And I'm at our meeting place where we meet every Tuesday, but no one's here. It's just me. So I'm just going to hang out for a little bit, and hopefully someone comes. If not, um, I've got my uh, computer and some work with me. I've got some uh, reviews I need to go blog about. While I wait, I got a question for you guys. There's been some, uh, I don't have any splinters in my butt from this. <laughs> um, someone's been asking um, about a P.O. box, if we would have one, and uh, they want to mail us some stuff. And I haven't just because of the, ex the expense, but I was wondering, um, uh, maybe Dan and I would do it if uh, there's enough of you guys that want us to have one. Um, so comment below if you think we should have a P.O. box for you guys to send stuff. Um, I'm kind of feeling like that's a little bit of like a selfish, greedy like <laughs> thing for us to do. So I'm kind of not that comfortable with it. But if you guys are requesting it, I um, figured I would just uh, open it up to everybody and see what you guys thought. So comment below. Let me know what you think. So we have a P.O. box for you. But only say yes if you'll actually use it because I don't want to spend the money for one and then nobody uses it, right? Okay. All right. I've been waiting here for about 25 minutes. No one's here. Meeting was supposed to start at 9. It's now 9.25. I'm just going to go. I'm going to go uh, find a coffee shop or something and do some work. Got the post up on uh, Real SEO uh, about what YouTube is looking for. It's contents and creators. Um, and uh, I'll link it up below if you guys want to see it. But I only got like 11 minutes left on my battery. 12 minutes left on my battery. So I need to find a new place to plug in and work, but um, I think I might have to go over there. I think I might go over there. If I got over there, I can use. So I got that one done. So I got uh, I read this book right here for um, a friend of mine, this guy right there, John McKee. Uh, I read this book. I'm going to review these as well in the blog. So then I can go. It's almost 2 o'clock. Um, time for lunch. I'm usually careful about like this kind of stuff because uh, I never know how old it is or how good it's going to be, but I'm getting hungry and I've just been leeching on their Wi-Fi for like a couple hours now. So I got another smoothie. Keep working. Just got home and it looks like Dana's got the kids ready to go out on a walk. <gasps> what are you kids doing? You look all wet, Hannah Love. Can I come in? That would be sweat Hi. I'm sweating on the warm porch. Oops. Oh, you guys just been hanging out out here? They would love it if you would take them on a walk. You want to go out on a walk, Hannah? Yes. You do? How about you, Zekers? Do you want to go out on a walk? Do you? You do? You want to go outside? Okay, you gotta go get pants and shoes and socks. Yeah, right now you know how many pants on, little girl. You went underwear? Yes. <gasps> no diaper? No diaper, I'm giving them up. Oh, Hannah, you're gonna finally, mommy's gonna take the plunge with you. Hopefully. We have had two accidents though. Oh, so but they were on the bathroom floor and in her booster seat at the table. So it's not a literal plunge yet. Except for you just kind of fell down in there, little guy. <laughs> yeah. It's a cute little Zeke. Okay, you guys wanna go out for a walk? It's really nice out. You ready to go, huh, Zeke? You're like, let's get this show on the road, little daddy. <laughs> My kids are so cool. You get your cool sunglasses, little Zeke <laughs> and Hannah. Okay, let's go for a walk. Yeah. Yay! You ready to go? Bye-bye. Yeah. Yay! You having fun? Yeah. Yeah? Are you having fun, Zeke? <laughs> yeah. I think the kicking is a sign of, yes, he is having fun. Hey, I bet you guys didn't know this, um, we're kind of walking by our property, and some of you guys have seen, like, our house, well, we rent it, it's not ours, but, um, but, but a lot of you guys didn't know we had a tennis court, either, you know, there's a tennis court, that's actually that row of trees right there, that little thing that's on the same property that our house is on, 
So before we had kids, Dan and I would walk over to our to our tennis court and play tennis. Uh, but since having kids, we don't get to do it as often. Apparently, I missed the memo that today is the day you're supposed to go out and mow your lawns because I guess with being such a good day, like everyone's out out on their tractors or mowing the grass or something. Oh well. Our uh, landlords have someone who do our lawn for us because uh, it's such a steep hill. So we don't have to do it because we would need like expensive equipment to make it work. So these guys are getting a little tired. Aren't you Hannah? Are you watching the guy mow? I think Zeke's ready to be done. Maybe they'll get interested when they see the tractor up here though. Little kids like tractors. What's he doing little girl? I don't know what he's doing. Hi. Hi. hi say hi. Hi, Anna, say hi. You say hi? Hi, kids. <laughs> say hi. You like getting a ride out here? Nice <gasps> job today, huh? Yeah, it is. It's super nice out. It's a good thing I didn't miss the memo that it's uh, today's the day to be out and talk to your neighbors, though. <laughs> I think I've talked to one, two, three, four, three of our neighbors um, on this walk. So that's cool. Get to because you know during the winter nobody comes out, so you don't really talk or see anybody. But during the summer, everyone's like outside and in their lawn, not in their lawn, but on their lawn. <laughs> and uh, so it's cool to catch up with people. See, this is the back of our house I was telling you about. It's a really steep hill and uh, it's good for sledding and stuff, but not so good for trying to mow, especially if it gets a little slick from rain or anything, because uh, um, like you need a, a, like something with really good grip so it doesn't slide backwards down the hill. So, nice pretty lake. I like it when it's melted. Want to go down and see the water, Hannah? Okay, whoa, can you walk down the hill without falling? Okay, we'll find out. Hopefully. What? I don't know what you're saying. What is she saying, guys? Some of you guys say you can interpret what she's saying now. Hannah, what are you saying? What? What? What is she saying? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, Hannah. Do you speak baby talk? Do you know what she was saying? When we moved here, all that across on the other side of the lake was all trees and woods and bald eagles and stuff that was over there. But they uh, tore it all down and now they're building houses in it. And it's all going to be residential here in the next couple of years. So it would be kind of sad. It's such a pretty view like when we would look out of our house across the lake and just be all nothing but nature. Oh well, things change. <laughs>